Oh my goodness. What am I doing here? Am I public speaking? I can't do this. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. My name is Elisa, and not that long ago, that was me. Has anybody here ever really wanted to do something, but you didn't try because you felt that you just couldn't possibly succeed? That's how I spent most of my life. Instead of telling myself I could, I would tell myself, I couldn't. And I'm not alone. I've heard so many other people tell me about things that they would love to do, only to finish with, but I can't. But why can't we do these things? Is it because we actually can't do them? Or is it because we have convinced ourselves that we can't do them? I remember a particular incident from my childhood when my father decided that it was time to take the training wheels off my bike. I remember looking at my once beloved bike and it seemed so wobbly and the ground below me seemed so hard and so rough, I knew I was gonna fall. I was not just nervous to get on that bike, I was terrified, I was shaking in my shoes. That was it. Riding was over for me. However, as the days went on, I saw the other neighborhood kids out on their bikes, having so much fun. How I missed that beloved bike of mine. And every single time my parents would turn on the radio, that old Queen song just happened to be on. Bicycle, bicycle. That was it. I was going to get on that bike without training wheels, and I was going to ride it. So I got on, even though I was afraid I would fall. And I did fall. I fell over and over and over again. And every single time I fell, the little boy who lived up the block just happened to be outside so he could point and laugh at me. But I kept at it. And eventually I did ride that bike without train wheels. And it was so much better than riding with train wheels because I could go faster and I could fly around my neighborhood. While I'm on the subject of methods of transportation, who here can drive a car? I couldn't until I was almost 30. My fear of driving began with my very first driving lesson as a teenager with my father. I drove us into a ditch. <laughs> After that, I was convinced I could not drive a car. But as the years went on, I saw my friends buying vehicles, I saw that there were millions of people out there who could drive. How come they could do it and I couldn't? What made them so different from me? And then I realized the only thing that made them different from me was that they knew they could do it. And I was telling myself I couldn't. So I decided to take driving lessons. Now, I'm not going to say it was easy because it wasn't. In fact, my driving instructor literally had to grab my leg and yank my foot off the brake pedal just to get the car moving. I loved red lights because I could stop and rest for a few minutes and wipe that sweat off my hands. But I told myself I could and I would do this. And I did. I passed my road test on the first try. I even parallel parked. Finally, I have a friend, and she's one of those people who can just go up to anybody and talk to them. I remember her once telling me that she used to be very shy, much like I am. She said that she had joined Toastmasters, and that is what had made all the difference in the way that she relates to people. She suggested I try it too. Seriously? Me? Stand in front of a room of people speaking? I don't think so. I declined. However, several years 
later, I was still struggling with my shyness. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I will give this Toastmasters thing a try. I remember my first table topic session. It went something like this. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm so sorry. Fine. <laughs> and I sat back down, my face flushed with embarrassment. But I told myself I could do this. I went back again and again and again. And now here I am, standing in front of a room of people talking. I don't think my face is flushed with embarrassment, is it? Do any of you have that nasty little voice in your head that likes to tell you you can't do something? I know that I still do, but now I see it as a challenge. If that nasty little voice tries to tell me I can't do something, I say, oh yeah? How come? I'll show you. I can do it. If I could take off my training wheels and fly around my block as a kid, I can do it again now. Why am I telling you this, ladies and gentlemen? Because if I can do it, so can you. I challenge you. Take off your training wheels and fly. Mm -hmm.